Okay, this is a Pacific with the worm, <laughs> worm, with the smoke gear, as you can see. Uh, and it has the uh, Magna Rosa fields. Now these are the skinny, thin fields, uh, which I had originally designed for the um, Atlantic. I thought I'd throw them in here, but when I did the single booster magnets, this guy was a little sluggish, so I threw in two double of the thin booster magnets, and he pumps, pumps right to life. Um, you can hear and see. He jumps up to 30 volts. He pulls about one and a half amps. Requires about two amps to cold start. That's running at, this may be amazing. That's three amps at 0.6. That seems to be a consistent number with these guys. The other thing I wanted to point out is these are the early style um, brush holder with the, um, I don't know, coil spring rather than the, um, or not the coil spring, the lever spring rather than the coil spring, uh, which I seem to have a few of. That looks like I'm a little loose on this side. I better check that out. I wonder if that's bent. That's a possibility. I've run into that on some of these older chassis. Really nice chassis, and this tang is bent. But the only way I can work with that is to put shims in it. I've always heard if you try to bend them back, they'll break. Um, I don't know. Anyway, this will be one of my mules here. I'll put it on one of the engines that I have and test it that way. I was going to put the smoke up. I started to put the smoke up on this guy, but I'm running short on these little clippy-on things. I have a bag of them, but I seem to have cleaned up and now I can't find them. I have a smoke ready to assemble. I was going to give him that smoke gear. Now maybe I'll give it to him. I don't know. We'll see. And then I had another one here, but, you know, these these are the um, Royal Blue style requirements, which are a lot different, so I may have to disassemble. But notice he's got the fat mags on it. I had him running, too, and he was very, very strong. These fat ones are... Are real strong. Um, so you can see the difference here with the thin, the medium, and the fat. Uh, and inside there is a coil, uh, arc, arc magnet on either side. These are boosters on the outside. Uh, so that's the original Royal Blue right there. That's Leon's engine waiting for me to assemble all this stuff. There's a fat, there's a thin, and there's a um, the Jim Shea converted the reason we're looking at the conversion is you can't see in there but this is a plastic bag full of the wire round coils and this is what he does to them that's really a, a nice job and it's a very strong motor too so i'm looking at doing lots of them both all right let's probably give you a little update i've been working on my train track mostly the last three or four days but uh, we're coming down to it. I think uh, Saturday's a rain day. Or no, Friday's a rain day, so we'll get more done. Tomorrow, Margaret's getting a new phone. Her phone battery is on the fritz, so she's out, she's out of commission. And there you are. Magna Rosa. You know what I really like, what I really enjoy is these engines. These engines from 1947, 48, 49, and 50 and up. You clean them, you assemble them, you lube them, you put them together, even with this crazy contraption, and they, by golly, they run. The motors run, and they run smooth, you know. And the can motors, I've had a few. I take them apart. I run them. I use them. But I'm telling you, I don't know how they have any power because they have the thinnest magnets and the cheesiest material and the weakest-looking armatures. These guys run 75 years old? No. 50? Well, 70. Yeah. It could be 75, 47 to 202. Um, but you replace the brushes and the springs and lubricate it and clean it, and it runs. And it will run. You know, you do that again in another 75 years, it'll still run. Pretty amazing. But now it runs on DC. That's pretty cool. Okay, gang, that's it for now. I'm going to close it down. Short one, but <coughs> we'll have more later. I start getting this thing built. 
you'll see that coming together quick time each one of these engines is going to get one of those so there'll be a lot of them around here shortly all right take care gang later